Welcome to Global Japan. We're in Palu on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi, where last September a powerful earthquake and tsunami wiped out homes and businesses and killed more than 2,000 people. Japan, a leader in disaster management, quickly stepped in to help the Indonesian authorities. Using space technology, its Daiichi 2 satellite swept across the island, building up a picture of the damage. Using a special radar, it checks on land deformities, vegetation, and the health of forests around the world in all weather conditions, day and night. In the case of Indonesia, the data was used to create special maps, helping authorities identify areas in need of help. The data is just only the picture. It's not difficult for users to analyze it by themselves to create emergency maps of damaged areas, giving important information for disaster management. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA, shares some of its space data through Sentinel Asia. It's a voluntary collaboration of space and disaster agencies in the Asia-Pacific region, playing a big role in emergency responses and reducing risks. Back on Earth in the Indonesian capital Jakarta, Jun Hayakawa from JICA, the Japan International Cooperation Agency, explains the satellite data for Palu. I'll show you the example here. This uh, landslide uh, located just very close to the village. It's a very dangerous situation. Using this satellite data, Indonesia government uh, tried to make the hazard risk map, and JICA supported to make the draft. And uh, that hazard risk map shows not only big landslide, but also tsunami inundation area and also a liquefaction landslide. The type of liquefaction here in Palu is rare. The ground shakes, the soil becomes loose with groundwater, and the surface shifts. When the earthquake struck last September, around a 1,000 buildings spread across a plot of land here, killing those inside, burying people in the mud. And it's this kind of terrifying catastrophe that Japan is now working closely with the Indonesian authorities to try and prevent happening again in the future. Jun Hayakawa and his colleagues are visiting the site as they consider proposals to counter the problems here. Using the satellite image, we can compare the distance before and after liquefaction. So several housing uh, shifted more than 400 meters in this area. After that, we had the geological surveys, uh, such as boring here, and we checked the uh, soil conditions. We're still discussing how to utilize this area. If we can have the, some countermeasures to uh, mitigate the liquefaction landslide. Japan uses its satellite technology at home too, with earthquakes, tsunamis, and flooding a constant threat. At JAXA headquarters, Dr. Kawakita talks his colleagues through data generated after an earthquake in Hokkaido in northern Japan. Red markings show damage hotspots. From these images, we recognize many huge areas are affected by landslides caused by the earthquake. It's very useful information for the Japanese government. It helped the government warn Hokkaido communities of risks and advise evacuation when necessary. A team in Singapore, through Sentinel Asia, also provided Tokyo with further data. This is just one example. The red and the black areas show damaged buildings or houses. JAX is not standing still with technology, keen to harness the likes of artificial intelligence to get data to users faster. They need a quick response. We're trying to make new technologies, automatic analysis, automatic data provision, new technologies. JAXA's Earth observation goes well beyond helping prevent natural disasters. Its Daiichi 2 satellite tracks climate change and future forecasts of rising oceans around the world, including melting Arctic sea ice and deforestation of the Amazon. JAXA's technologies will continue to benefit countries like Indonesia, who rely on Japan's vast expertise for a safer and better life.